Hi guys and welcome back to episode number 99 of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory and you know of course we're going to carry on with the weekend league we're four and one at the minute losing our last game which were a bit unfortunate uh, and I'll be honest it was a bit of a bumpy ride wasn't it you know but we're going to move on into the first game of this episode and he's got an interesting team a normal Richarlison, a normal Zaha like what I, I'm not used to this but he has got Buccigueno McTominay and of course Wan Bissaka so he's probably a United fan and obviously he's got United uh, badge as well and also he probably just put all his coins into the icon pack and got Buccigueno which is unlucky I mean well no it's not unlucky to fair it's a very good one but it could have been better to say that his team's like not not good now because of it anyway we are one up due to a Marcus Rashford goal uh, and then we get took out it's not a penalty it's not a pen ref but we do win it back, we keep our head, Rashford plays it across to Awa, nice fake shot, nice goal, 2-0. So, you know, that's good. Like, in the last game, I think I would have just lost my head if that wasn't a penalty. And, I, and you know, that's that. But, again, that could have been a penalty, but again, we pick it back up and Awa scores another goal. 3-0 now, 56 minutes on the clock. RIP to the 56. And we do get a rage quit, which is absolutely fantastic. Um... So that's that's a good start to the episode. So now five and one, twenty thirteen player, decent stuff. You know, I'll t I'll take it. So we move on to the next game. He's got a red Lozano, so he obviously plays foot champs. He's got Clyber, he's got Van Dijk, who's OP as hell. He's got the likes of uh, Insigne as well and a rule breaker Mertens. Anyway, Insigne does get through straight away and he scores. And I'm thinking, oh, to to be honest, at first I thought when I saw this team. It's not a good team, is it? It's no one uses Syria uh, for the like the attackers and stuff. But this guy has. And uh, Virgil gets a header and scores. Honestly, corners, man, I hate them. I hate corners on this game. I can't defend them because I don't have like the physical players at the back to defend them. But anyway, we are coming through here with Marcus Rashford. That's a penalty. Finally, we get a penalty. We've got a chance to get back in this game at 2-1. But, you know, maybe we do, maybe we don't. Phil and Mendy taking out my Rashford then and does he slot it on? Well, we're going straight away. We do, Scott. It's a good penalty that. And um, we're back in the game at 2 1. Oh, yeah, Liverpool United last night. What went wrong? Like, it was just nil nil written all over it by half time, I think. Um, that's what I said to my I said, look, it's going to be nil nil because it, I, honestly, I swear it happens every time United and Liverpool play. Every time they play, it's like, oh, it's going to be a sick match. It's going to be class. There's going to be loads of goals. Nil nil. It's happened a few times now. Um, it's, yeah, well, especially when I've been watching, like, I remember watching it at a mate's house before COVID, nil nil then. Uh, but anyway, coming back to FIFA then, uh, we lost that one 4-1, uh, and that's why I just sidetracked because obviously lost. Anyway, we're, we're on to the next game. This guy's got a very interesting team, a few objective cards in there, like Kappa, uh, and also like Inform Rashford and stuff like that. Anyway, Jao Felix plays it Tavernier, who finds a Rashford then, who plays it to Jao Felix. Uh, Felix scores the attack that he started. Anyway, that's that's a great start. And then Tavernier is causing havoc uh, against me. Uh, on that right side of Tavernier as well for me. Anyway, Rashford plays it back and Awa gets a goal and it's 2-0. They're queuing up, boys. Uh, Rashford then playing it into Joe Felix. I'm sliding about all over the shop and I'm going to quit. 3-0. I'm not even six wins in or whatever. Not even six wins in and I'm quitting games. That's my third loss, I think, this weekend. I think I'm 5-3. and three. Well, it must be because we lost two this episode, one last episode. Anyway, this looks like a beatable team. But I'm always scared when I come against people like this with the Marlins, the Promeses, the... Uh, what's he called? Uh, Graven Birches and stuff like that because they're, a good, they're good players, people that use these their teams because they just know what to do to have fun but also be sick of the game as well. Uh, because, obviously... They're not the most meta players in the world, but they're, they're decent, like they're quite good. And it's obviously staying away from the Varans and Gomez's and stuff like that, which is obviously fantastic. I love people like that. Anyway, I am going to go 1-0 up through Usman Dembele, which is fantastic. Uh, but Coleman, who we moved into the midfield, I'd love to get Coleman, to be fair. Obviously, he's probably going from um, the icon swaps. I didn't realise that. Uh, I was looking at getting him, but obviously we've gone for the pack instead, which we will open it to in the year because get to it at the minute which is great fantastic so we've literally had to wait like an extra month well not an extra month but like an extra couple of weeks to get the icon into the team uh and obviously yeah so 
We have won one. Uh, 40 minutes on the clock, he's got himself a free kick. What's he going to do from this? Well, is he going to go short? It looks like he is, you know, playing the runners off. And he does. And uh, I don't tackle him. I take him out. I literally say, you know what, Tavernier, go straight through him. You put him into the stand. Uh, and anyway, Coleman is very good at penalties. And is he going to step up and score? Well, I'm moving my keeper. You know I like to do that. I, I'm trying to get inside his head. But I save it. Finally, finally make a save from a penalty, which is fantastic. But from the corner, Coleman whips it in. And it's another headed goal in. Bellerin, you've got to do better. Baumgartel just towered over everyone. Like, it's a free card, man, and Bellerin's on the line, also a free card, obviously, but you've got to be getting that. Uh, I didn't even saw it in the replay, but of course it's going down as an own goal. Anyway, Felix with a back heel there to Rashford, and I'm just chilling on the edge of the box. What a ball to Jao Felix, forces the save and gets the goal, and I'm just like, yes, yes, at this point. Like, it, that was such a relief of a goal. Like, I've been all over this guy the whole game, obviously scored that stupid corner and um, whatever other goal he scored, but Marlon very well played. Uh, he absolutely tore me apart in that goal, just pivoting around me. I'm obviously losing my head, uh, and we're literally, we've only just begun this weekend and I'm losing my head, which is ridiculous. Like, when, when, I, lose, when I lose a game early on that I know that I should have won, it just drives me mental, like... I definitely should have won that game where we were 4-0 at that point, and then we went 4-1. I should have won that game. But anyway, we'll move on to the next game. Uh, it's very sweaty, very meta. He's got a George Best in there, probably from, again, an icon pack. Uh, he's also got St. Maximin's normal card. When do you see that about? Anyway, um, Alessandrini, straight away, we're going to just kick on in this game. Well, say straight away, 5 minutes on the clock. Dembele, bang, to Kante, of all players. And Golo Kante seems to score me a few goals, you know. I don't know where he is. He just seems to score me quite a few goals. Uh, but anyway, we're going to push through once again. Uh, how are then? What can you do? Are you going to try to slide through Rashford? Which he does. Fake shot. Round the defender. And it's a goal. I don't know how he, that, that's going in, to be honest. I'm surprised he didn't get AI blocked or even saved, to be fair. Like, it should have been saved. But I think you were Allison in his goal. But anyway, five minutes left on the clock. And, you know, we're tuning up. We're cruising. We've just done a lovely skill pass there by Alessandrini. And Rashford finishes the game off 3-0 against this Manchester City van. Uh, unfortunate for you, mate. Oh, I've seen this bet, right, on Facebook. This is totally random. I've seen this bet on Facebook. This guy put a bet on uh, United and Liverpool to draw 0-0. Man City to win 5-0, um, which obviously the one 4 0 uh, but the the one five nil and there were another team in there that he got right. He could have won sixteen grand from a quid. I mean, fair play. He nearly got it right. He nearly, nearly got it right. But uh, obviously, Man City did not find that fifth goal, which is unfortunate. But Stones got two goals, uh, which is interesting. Maybe I put him in my fantasy team. I don't know. How, how was your fantasy team? I'd like to know in the comments if you fancy commenting. Anyway, twenty five minutes on the clock. We're one nil down. Great, good start, Mbappe, I mean, I need this Mbappe, I need this Neymar, and honestly, I'll get a week, like, it's just simple as that, but I want to pack him as, as I keep saying about every single episode these days. Anyway, Mbappe is in once again, he's just got the strength to beat Gomez and score, and that's just the bottom line. I need better defenders, I need better attackers, <laughs> it's just simple as that. Joe Gomez, normal card, is about 15k now, and I'm still using him. I think he's played about 300 odd games since we packed him from... Uh, Div Rivals, which is mental. Anyway, Rashford, what can you do? Uh, he's just trying to tempt the opposition to come out to then obviously slip in a Jao Felix. It doesn't happen, but he's got the ball once again. He's going to bridge it, of course. He's, he's going to smack it across goal, and it's in. I mean, Rashford, man, what a player. Even if we pack like Team of the Year, Ronaldo, Messi, whatever, whoever the attackers are, even if, like, the, even if I pack them, I'm genuinely just going to keep him on the bench because Rashford's just mental he's played about 250 games or something at this card and he's got about 370 goals and got 200 odd assists anyway it's 4-1 now <laughs> after that uh, goal to get us back in the game at 2-1 4-1 I just give up after this goal so I wanted to quit but I thought no rival points I'm going to try and finish rank 3 this week I know it's not much but you know it's still I think it's four mega packs, or is it? Yeah, four mega packs, because then rank two's two mega packs and two rare megas, I think. Not too sure. But anyway, we are six and about four, five, something like that. And then anyway, we move on to the next game. This guy's got a Navigator, and I think in the last episode, 
uh, this this navigator tar is a new one but anyway rashford not rashford zaha what am i saying uh does chip pope there pope got a hand to it he's got paper bags as hands i swear he does honestly but he's still probably the best keeper that he can get from the premier league anyway marcus rashford lovely owl dribbling to get past that defender and he scores so we're back in this game at 1-1 fantastic stuff uh, against this Evertonian fan anyway what can we do next Rashford he's got past the defender once again he's got around him a third time a fourth time every defender he's gone past and he chips it in and Alessandrini scores could have probably just passed it across the box but I chipped it don't ask me why I, I don't know why anyway Marlon's in here and he scores and it's 2-2 so just like that yeah you can go from losing to winning and then you can go to drawing and possibly losing again. Like, it's just mental how quick this game goes on. Like, I mean, uh, shocking defending once again. I'm trying to play it out from the back. And he sweats it across the goal. Cheers up, mate. I mean, I know I sort of sweated mine. But I've caught, I couldn't shoot. I mean, at least you probably maybe could have shot. I don't know. Anyway, Rashford, bridge of course once again. And he scores. That is such a recurring theme. Just bridge it with a quick play when it's going in mate like that, that's just the bottom line of this game anyway that is absolutely fantastic and we do get that goal there to make it 3-3 uh, against Liverpool I don't know if I agree with that but anyway Zaha scores 61 minutes on the clock I'm now losing once again this Wilfred Zaha headliner card I know this isn't his headline this is just his inform that headliner doesn't does me every time every single time but anyway a towel has come on as a sub what can you do plays it to Jao Felix and what a finish that is honestly the shot power on that were ridiculous like I think that's a bit of scripting I'm not gonna lie because he doesn't normally put that much power in and that much whatever but anyway we nip the ball back once again straight away off kickoff and we're looking to respond once again Yusuf Atal he's burst through onto the scene and he's scored the goal so he's not only got an assist but got a goal in literally like two in-game minutes what a man he literally came on like five minutes before that as well what a player anyway Rashford then finds that Atal who finds Atal again Rashford and Atal playing one twos taking the mick he's borrowed the keeper and he's gonna score fantastic stuff 6-4 and this is gonna be the final episode of not final episode the final um final game of the episode and look who it is it's Hector Bellerin coming through I spot Tavernier not gonna lie and uh yeah we're just gonna um run to the net Tavernier what a man anyway yeah I'd, I'd, he quit from that in the 90th minute or whatever decent I'll take it 7-4 win fantastic lovely scenes oh 77 minutes in even brilliant stuff so we're now 7-4 and four or 5 not good but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.